<laughs> Welcome to Cooking with Carl. Tonight I'm going to be doing a twist on spag bol. However, rather than using the stringy spaghetti bolognese, I'm going to be using a ricotta, which are like big pasta tubes. Some basil, the fumi sauce, passata, salt, pepper, and I'm going to spice it up a little bit with some chili flakes. So, I've got my onions and mince browning in there, and I've got a pan of boiling water ready for the ricotta. It's quite nice pasta, it's bloody lovely. Plus, you get all the flavours from that soaking into it. As you will see as we progress. Right, so I've drained the mince and browned it, obviously drained all the excess fat off. Added mushrooms and the basil and passata. The salt and pepper and some chilli flakes. I like a bit of spice in it. The water's still on the boil for that. And then we'll bring it back together. Oh, smell of vision. Dudes, gorgeous. Yeah, so simmering away on the on the meat and the sauce. Look at the size of them pasta tubes, baby. They're big tubes, aren't they? So these take slightly longer than normal pasta. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay then, so once the tubes are fully cooked, rather than doing what you normally do with pasta and add it to the sauce or add the sauce to the pasta, I'm going to drain these tubes and then they're going to go in with the sauce and meat so they will soak everything inside them because they're quite big tubes, if you get what I mean. So, a couple of more minutes and we'll drain these off and then add them to the actual meat and sauce. But the trick is not to get impatient with it. Yes, pasta takes time to cook and this takes slightly longer. Almost looks like squid rings, doesn't it? Yeah. It's not far off, it's not far off. Patience is a virtual. Then we'll get in there. So at last the pasta's done. I don't uh, we'll get it in there. And then mix it in. Like I said, big tubes. Best way to do it. Because if you put the pasta on on vice versa and the other way around won't work but this is the best way eh? to make sure you get all the meat and sauce in the pasta right and voila oh here it is whatever you say in Italian gorgeous I can't pronounce the name of the pasta it's ricotta be prepared that it's going to take a long time rather than just traditional pasta. I'm going to enjoy this now. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, bye.